All right, welcome back. This is Skate or Die 2, the quest for double trouble. This looks like Skate or Die you're probably used to, right? Skate or Die 1 is what everyone's always played. Got all the mini events and neat little things going on and scoring a bunch of points and going to the skate shop and meeting Rodney. That's not what this game's about. This game has an adventure mode, and that's what we're actually going to be beating here today. Um, it's almost like a strange platformer to it. So um, we'll get started here, and I'll try and fill you in on what's going to happen. The first level is we're going through the streets, and we're going to actually uh, fight the mayor's wife. Yeah, I know. A lot of backstory. I'm not going to go into all that right now, but that's what we got to fight. And then we got to raise some money, so we're going to take a delivery job at the mall and deliver things to a bunch of stores. Uh, I wanted to explain that now because this happened so quickly uh, that it's a little bit tricky to kind of keep up with in the action. So I wanted to get that out in advance. Then our half-pipe plans that we make get blown out the window and land all over the beach. And then we got to grab a bunch of the plans. And then finally, our, uh, our best friend CJ gets kidnapped and our permit for the... Uh, the half pipe we're trying to build it's hidden inside of this warehouse and we're trying to rescue her and get the permit so that we can build our half pipe so yeah <laughs> yes it is insane i'm glad that you brought that up then it is an incredibly difficult labyrinth uh i definitely have a map on my uh, other monitor right now so yeah feel free to dig more into it at vg maps someone made it it's a uh, Nice 256 room labyrinth in a NES game, no big deal. Alright, without further ado, let's get started here. You don't get to see any of the cutscene stuff, but uh, you will get to see uh, our characters meet up with Rodney here in just a moment. So, we'll get started in 3, 2, 1, and go. Alright, so, there's Rodney. If we can find him, we're going to get a cool skateboard, faster one, than this terrible one that we start with. The third skateboard is the one we care about. That's called the rocket board. So we're going to try and get that. We need to get this taco and these french fries. Because uh, to be poor skateboarders, this is effectively currency. So when we find Rodney, he's going to want to trade some of those uh, items for a cool skateboard. We're not really worried about what kind of happens here. He'll show up here around 24 seconds. We're just going to kill some time. And then when he does show up, we're going to try and get a little forward momentum going because he's going to do a U-turn here. All right, that's our first skateboard. And then we're going to try and get the second one in just a second here. Perfect. And now we got ourselves a rocket board after spending uh, all of our currency there. We're going to drop down this manhole. Shortcut it a little bit further in the level. For some reason, skateboarding in this manhole is uh, traverses more distance than if we had stayed above ground. Not quite sure uh, how that happened. And then we'll go up here to where the mayor's wife is hiding out. See, uh, apparently, our character ran over the mayor's wife's dog. And so uh, he is uh, trying to get the mayor to ban skateboarding. So uh, that's apparently what we do to her instead. Uh, it is not explained later what her demise was, if that, that uh, ended her, or if that just swayed her opinion on skateboarding. But now we're in the mall we got to raise some money to build this half pipe so we're gonna stop here at the record store and we gotta go to tall and stout clothes these these places do have some funny names not all of them but a lot of them have some pretty funny names additionally for some reason unbeknownst to anybody uh there are some secret deliveries you can make here um you can deliver things sometimes we gotta take this where to floor shine okay now, we could take this to Floor Shine, or we can take this to Rhinestone Jewelers. For some reason, they left the code in the game that your third delivery, no matter what, can go to Rhinestone Jewelers. And your fifth delivery, no matter what, can go to somewhere else, too. So we've got a couple of places that we can... We kind of have an option. We can either take our thing to Floor Shine Shoes or to Rhinestone Jewelers, whichever one we come across first, and Rhinestone's when we go to. I'm going to take this over to Salon. Now, you saw me before. I ran into the police officer, and he gave me a warning. What will happen is if you hit the police officer again... He will take you to one of the escalators. It's not clear if he's going to take you to the left one or the right one. It might be advantageous to you. It might not. Definitely, you know, worth a gamble sometime. Um, if you're, you know, grinding any percent or something like that, you're going to want to hit the police officer as much as possible and just hope for per perfect RNG. Um, but in this case here, we're going to take this to our fifth delivery, which actually I think is faster to go the other way. Rather than going to this, we can actually go to Wumpus World instead. There we go. That's our secret delivery for... Delivery number five. We can go to the record store next. To get a few extra bucks here. I'm not quite sure that one day's worth of work would pay for a half pipe nowadays. But lumber costs back then, um, who knows? I, I can't say for sure. I don't, I don't want to, you know, just presume that this is unrealistic. I'm not quite sure. Oh, we got police officer and we got perfect RNG there. It took us right to the clothing store we were trying to go to. 
So uh, while that police officer thought he was doing us harm, he actually did us a favor. Now that time he did us some harm. We were trying to go to the salon. All right, cool. Now we can go to the salon this way. <laughs> it does take some HP away, so it's not completely without risk, but yeah. All right, floor shine shoes is pretty far. Would have hoped for a better delivery location, but that's okay. It's kind of crazy, uh, you know, obviously there's plenty of movies and TV shows and whatnot with malls being, you know, predominantly featured. Um, but one thing that is interesting to me is that most of my local malls that have either struggled or, you know, even the ones that have flourished, they seem to have had a lot more newer stores coming recently. I know the layout to this mall so much better than any of those. And this mall is two-dimensional, multiple floors, and has... <laughs> I've never been in any of these stores in real life, but for some reason, I, you know, I've played this game enough where I know this store better than any other mall <laughs> out there. I can find anything in this mall. <laughs> All right, so we're taking this down to the movies, but we don't have to. One of the secret locations is Pathos. And then finally, we got to go to the taco pit. Oh, we finally get to traverse the stores up top. <laughs> Healthy and nutritious food out of business. Sorry, next to pizza by the time. Frisky yogurt, cafe scarf, pumps on a pike, right next to the pet store. Also next to the taco place. All right, time to go get these uh, half pipe planes off the beach. So we got 16 pieces of paper here that blew all over the place. We gotta watch our health here a bit. Oh, this is uh, this is Lester. No, I don't really want to learn any of your crazy kick flips or anything. It's cool from a swag standpoint of a casual gameplay, but yeah, we got, we're going to leave those two pieces of paper behind for right now. And hope for a gust of wind, because currently they're in an unattainable location. So we need the wind to blow. This is typically what comes down to ending a lot of your any percent runs, as to whether or not you get nice RNG or not with the wind. I don't want to fall down too much, but I'm trying to just do things there that might spawn a wind gust, which we got right here. We need one more, because there is a paper further to the left of us that hasn't blown this far yet. It's right there. So, one more gust of wind, please, Mother Nature. Come on. There we go. Sometimes the hitbox is going to be a little bit weird, but we got that one finally. Now we can traverse the rest of the level here. I don't know where she thought she was going. I don't think she's making that jump. <laughs> now, I, I am from the Mid-Atlantic, a state known for its great... Uh, its great crabs. So... I take offense to these attack ones that are just going there destroying us. First of all, they're huge. Second of all, crabs are fantastic. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now Mother Nature just trolling us there. That's okay. We'll get those plans, then we'll get the other one down here in this corner, which you feel like you're always going to lose health when you get. I don't think it's possible to grab that without falling down. Grab this plan. We got seven to go. There we go. Making good progress here. Took us a long time to get the RNG we wanted at the beginning, but that's okay. All right, we're going to leave that one behind. And just remember that it's there. We don't need any more skateboards. This one's fast enough. I can't go up the hill like that. We gotta get some momentum. Oh, and then it blows away, of course. Alright, we still have one paper behind us. Alright, we'll get one last one up here. So we thought. It's trolling again. Oh my goodness, the trolls. There we go. Alright, so let's go get the last paper that we left before behind us. This is obviously a West Coast game. I'm, our state is not known for its bird it's hanging out at the beach. All right, so here's that horrible labyrinth power plant we were talking about here. 
First thing we gotta do is go get the permit. You can actually make it to the roof to go try and save your friend, and then if you don't have the permit that was taken for the, the half pipe, she's incredibly upset with you, and you can't beat the game. So, we're gonna go up here to floor one, or up to floor two, rather. At least all the floors are color-coded, but man, it is tricky. And there's a little uh, speedrun glitch here that we can abuse. If you happen to be going up at the same time that you do your 180 kick turn move, you can change direction right there on the fly. So you can see that I was now facing to the right after I walked through facing left. That's a recently discovered trick as well. All right, we're going to floor four. You're like, oh wow, they're almost at the top. Well, yeah, fourth floor is the top, but for some reason this building is built in such a way that there are rooms on the third, second, and first floor that you can't even access unless you go up to the fourth floor first and then go down a different elevator to get to them. Even though they share a wall. Like, the only way you can get to them is to go all the way up to the top and then all the way down. <laughs> we'll play this part through here. Coming through my mic. If that's where two game tracks are coming through. I thought my noise gate was set up nicely, but it might not. Sorry about that. Thank you for letting me know. Alright, so now we're back on floor one. These rooms are inaccessible to us unless we go up to floor four first. Take that guy out. For no reason other than he was in our way. We do worry about HP management a little bit here, although we're doing great with it right now, to be honest. We've got great health for this part, because um, we're going to get maxed out health when we grab the permit here in a second. So you have to go up floor one to floor two to floor three to floor four to back to three, back to two, back to one, up to two. That's the only way you can get to this permit. <laughs> in its own tiny little secluded like island of the second floor. <laughs> Just mean. Alright. And we'll go back the way we came, all the way back to the beginning. Because that's where the route of, uh, yeah, it is a 3D maze, effectively. Um, we're going to go all the way back to the beginning to effectively get to where, uh, CJ is going to be held captive on the roof. Oh, okay. Thank you. Made our way a little bit there. What a terrible night to have a curse. All right, we'll try and do a quick turn here, and then we'll be able to go down quickly. Not this one, we don't want to go there. That will take us to a little health bonus, but it'll be several rooms out of the way, and we don't need it yet. I'm gonna grab the one down here in floor one once we finish navigating this section. little damage, but that's all right. And then back to elevator A. And here we are. We are now back where we started at the very beginning with about 45% the health that we started, but we have a permit in hand now. And we go down here to go up to the next part of the game, but I'm going to go out of the way here a little bit just to kind of get some HP, just to play it safe. Back here, down, and then to our elevator. And now we start phase two. Of two, but this one's just uh, even further of a maze than before. Up and then over here to the right. Oops, hold on. Wrong way. I'm reading my map wrong. There we go. That's that's the right elevator, I hope. <laughs> there we go. Up to C. And then, there we go. 
Back to the fourth floor. I'm gonna grab another health while we're up here because this one's only one room out of the way. Good enough. And then we'll go down. Do a kick turn and set herself up for this little route here. The, the bad guys here it start to increase in quantity and strength. So we need to be real careful with a lot of our damage management. You might see us go through some of these rooms just cruising like this on, on one knee. Uh, we can't get hit then, but then we also can't steer. So as much as I would love to just do that every time. I'm going to take uh, another health boost up here just to play it safe. A couple of these corridors here. Typically speaking, if you're beating this game... Yeah, it does do full quiet during screen transitions. Yeah, that's what it's doing. I'm trying to talk less so you guys can get that. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, as we come up here to the final boss here, we'll have one last climb. We're on floor one right now. Typically speaking, when you're playing this game casually, if you see the amount of uh, enemies decrease, it typically means you went the wrong way. So it's a way that you can kind of keep track if you're on, on the right path or not. Yeah, our health got hit pretty bad there, but nice little boost here near the end. We'll have a couple more spots to do that if necessary. Luckily, they don't put any bad guys in the elevator rooms. That's, for, that's pretty friendly of them. They certainly could have been mean that way, and they didn't. So we got one room to navigate here. But with three guys, and they're shooting at us as soon as we got in there. one or two more health places to go, so. Go down. And down. Alright, we're gonna need this last couple health boosts here in these rooms to really feel safe, I think. So we'll skip that one, and we'll go to this one. And these guys are the strongest guys in the game, and Three of them in every room, seemingly, so... Two or three of them every time. Ooh. A couple hits there. We're just gonna hope this fight with Ice Pit goes well. Maybe he'll just be nice. Maybe he'll just release CJ to us friendly and be friendly about it. I don't think he will. I've never seen that happen before, but you never know. Maybe we'll just get, like, some weird RNG no one's ever experienced before, where the boss will just hand us over, our friend. And let us build our half fight. Let's see! Here we go, we're gonna fight him on the rooftop. Whoop, whoop. We can do a little kick turn there and avoid him. That's what we're gonna try to do. You can see our friend CJ all tied up there. Oh, 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 that's not great. Don't get too close to him. That's alright, not too much damage there. There we go, and that is time. 17 minutes exactly. I'm. I'm shocked. I felt like it was going a whole lot longer with that beach RNG, but that was a pretty good plant, so we'll take it. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> That's our character. That's CJ, the aerial knockoff. And you guys get closer to the story you never got to learn about. <laughs> It's finally done. Let's party. And that's it. That is Skater Die 2, the quest for Double Trouble. The credits will loop here forever. Oh, well, not forever. For quite a long time if you let them. Um, and you'll go back to get to play the half plate. So um, the beginning of the game that you guys saw me start at there, uh, you get to play the half plate that you built. So... Uh, I'm pretty garbage at this. 
but this is what all our efforts were for, apparently. So that is Skate or Die 2, guys. Thanks so much for watching this. Um, I got Monster Truck Rally coming up in just a bit. The, the last of my George Sanger games I got for you guys today. And uh, I'll be back in a couple of minutes with that for you. Thank you.